Hi, this is Wade Green. This is my video uh, for Dr. Anderson's uh, Corrective Techniques for Movement Dysfunction course. Uh, this is my week four exercise progression video. Uh, due to technology constraints, uh, we're doing this from my living room, which is very small. So I apologize in advance. Um, I also apologize if you see a dog running across the room in the middle of the video. So um, we're going to go ahead and get started. Do I have your permission to share this video for my corrective techniques for movement dysfunction course? Yes. So we're going to start off with a couple of basic assessments uh, for breathing. And so what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to actually move the camera. I'm going to ask my wife to lay down on the floor for me. So we're actually going to actually we can do this in standing. I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to actually start off with a high-low test. So I'm going to have my wife come, come on over. And I'm going to move the camera down just a little bit. I'm going to have her place one hand on her chest um, and the other, okay, on her abdomen. And I'm just going to have her take a few uh, just normal breaths just to kind of get acclimated to uh, kind of what this feels like. I'm simply just going to be observing the rise and fall of her chest and abdomen in this video. Let's actually go ahead and do this lying down as well, if you don't mind. So I, am, I apologize, I'm going to move the camera in closer. Okay. We're going to try to really observe here. Honey, if you can move your bottom hand up a little bit. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So now we'll go, we'll we'll get into um, our breathing progression, and I will actually reposition the camera. I apologize. Uh, reposition the camera, and I'll get in position over here on the side. Um, of the patient. Okay, so for this first um, for this first exercise, I'm simply going to have my wife just simply lay with her hands down at her side. So if you could do that for me, please. Now, I'm going to have her go ahead and she's going to take a deep breath in through her nose for about two to four seconds. And then she's actually going to exhale through pursed lips. This is pursed lip breathing. And then you go ahead and exhale through pursed lips. But that exhalation should take between four to eight seconds. going to move on to providing a little bit of passive overpressure um, and giving a little bit of manual resistance um, against inhalation and exhalation. Pardon me. So I'm going to go ahead and start by placing my hand right below um, the, the costal angle at the diaphragm. And so what I'm going to do is provide a little bit of resistance. I'm going to have my wife go ahead and just breathe in normally. And as she exhales, I'm going to go ahead and let that pressure goes. Go ahead and breathe in again. Good. And go up. And again. Okay. 
Okay, so thus far we've gone through first foot breathing and then a little bit of manual uh, resistance to both inhal inhalation and exhalation. Uh, now what we're actually going to progress uh, to is we're actually going to progress to uh, more uh, breathing, except we're going to work on scapular depression and retraction, um, attempting to really kind of de-emphasize um, a lot of the um, upper trap and that kind of thing. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and we're going to bring the stool over. You can go ahead and have a seat there for me, please. I'm going to go ahead and give you this pen. Okay, now, what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and hold the band very low, down, kind of down by your belly button here. Keep your, your hands uh, and arms kind of in your side. Now, what I'm going to have you do, all right, is when I ask you, when I tell you to go, is you're just, just going to take a nice, gentle, deep breath in, and you're going to bring the band back and apart with your arms low. And then as you exhale, you're going to blow out through purse flips and slowly release the band. And we can palpate here um, at the upper trap to ensure that she's not activating the upper trap uh, with the movement. And so she appears to be doing that rather well. Excellent job. Okay, so we're going to move on now to uh, abdominal bracing. So I'm going to go ahead and ask her to, we're going to get back in, in supine. Okay, so if I might just go ahead and lay down, please. Okay, and so for this exercise, we're going to be using a couple of different tools. Um, we're going to be using a bow feedback a, a cup. Um, we use this routinely in, in, the, in practice uh, with, with lumbar spine patients, and so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to position this under my left lumbar spine. Okay, go ahead and come on now. Okay, we're going to ensure actually that this uh, cup is inflated to 40 millimeters of mercury. All right, and I'm going to have my wife go ahead and put this in her hand. Now, grabbing the balloon here off the shelf. I'm going to go ahead and place this balloon in my wife's uh, left hand. Okay, now what I'm going to have her do here is I'm going to have her go ahead and let me actually change the camera angle. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so I'm going to have my wife go ahead and activate her transverse abdominals by squeezing here. She's going to take a, a, a nice breath in through her nose, okay, placing the balloon in her mouth, and she's going to exhale into the balloon over a course of four to eight seconds. And inhale again. And good. Now we're, we're noticing quite a bit um, of fluctuation of exhalation with this exercise. Um, she's doing a great job of activating the transverse abdominis as well. Um, go ahead and, and let's do a couple more reps if we can. Okay. 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 And now we're going to move on to a dynamic core um, exercise. So I am going to, um, I'm going to actually have my wife, we're going to actually use uh, this red TheraBand. And so if you don't mind, would you please slide this up 
uh, on uh, just up past your knees. Okay. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like you to lay facing toward the screen. Okay. Now, um, so what we're going to have her do here is I'm going to have her uh, brace abdominal. Okay. She'll take a big deep breath in, brace, and and go ahead and bridge. And on exhalation, she will go ahead and lift her knee in a clam-like manner and back down. Excellent job. Let's see if we can get a few more reps out of this. Good job. job. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your patience and I apologize for the overage on the video. Thank you.